Hello and welcome back. First of all, I would like to thank you for supporting me in doing this good job. I want you to know that I always try to bring accurate and clear information to you. The sole purpose of me creating these videos is to help you understand those concepts that you always wanted to learn. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please do like, comment and share. If you are new to this channel, also hit the subscribe button in right bottom corner. With that being said, let's see what we have got today. Today I thought of doing a video on something else, but uh, when I started my ASA and tried connecting any connect, I couldn't connect. So I thought maybe, you know, why not do another session on any connect troubleshooting? So let's figure out what's wrong, why my AnyConnect is not connecting. Let me first show you the problem, what's happening. So I'm gonna go to my test PC and try connecting. Let's see what happens. This is my test machine. Let's open AnyConnect. So I already have a client profile in there. That's why it's showing me IT-VPN. It says any connect was not able to establish a connection to the specified secure gateway. Okay, let's do it again. So I open any connect and try connecting. It gives me certificate warning, which is fine because I'm not using any certificate. Connect anyway. Enter the username and password. So it says any connect was not able to establish a connection to the specified secure gateway. Please try connecting again. Try to do some debugs on the ASA. So I'm gonna enable debug the VPN any connect to flight 5. Go back to the test machine, connect again. Enter the username and password. So not too much information in debugs. So at this moment, what do you do? I say, let's enable logging. So let me check my logging levels. Show run logging. So I already have logging enabled. Buffer size is pretty big. And a logging level is debugging. Now in your real time environment, you may have too many VPN connections to your ASA or there might be too many things going on so it will be a little difficult to look at the logs but not impossible so what do you do so you need to be on call with the user who is facing the problem ask them to initiate the connection before they initiate the connection you need to clear the logs on the ASA so I'm gonna say clear logging buffer I'm gonna ask the user to try one more time so hit connect Enter the username and password and the error. Fine, come back to the ASC, say show log and let's go through the logs. Important things to notice here are the device completed SSL handshake with client. So this is client's IP address 192.168.0.200 that's my test machine 2 192.168.0.193 that's the AnyConnect uh, ASA so the SSL handshake complete so there's no problem with SSL handshake next thing is authentication so it says true play user authentication successful local database user Cisco right so authentication is also successful it, it is able to retrieve the group policy successfully and the user has been accepted so tunnel group group policy everything is fine default DAP is assigned so no issue with that and it says any parent session started the device selects trust point ID cert it's fine SSL session with the client terminated Why is that? Let's see. Um, I 
then says web epin session terminated user requested parent session terminated reason user requested so looking at these logs on the asa i don't really see anything wrong because if there was something that asa was doing wrong it would certainly display that here right maybe ssl handshake did not complete the only thing we are remaining with is user requested so it looks like the connection is being terminated from client side directly from any connect so at this moment uh, it would be a great idea to collect dart from the client machine because the error message is so generic that you can't figure out what's wrong it just says any connect was not able to establish a connection to the specified secure gateway please try connecting again so we need to collect dart bundle now so how do you collect dart so you should have already dart installed if you don't you can and then you just click on this diagnostics it will start your dart click next so what i normally do is clear logs after dart finishes so it clears everything uh, you know it clears all the logs from your pc once the dart has collected the logs so that next time if you need to collect the dart it doesn't repeat the same information say next and it's gonna do its thing and put the dart bundle on your desktop While it's doing that, I'll tell you a bit about Dart. So what Dart does is it collects logs from everything on your PC, like your network interfaces, adapters, ID, hard drive, every the logs from everywhere. It collects those logs and puts them into a bundle. So you can email it if you have to email to Syscatac or somewhere else, or you can click on Finish because it has already created the Dart bundle and placed it at your desktop. So as you can already see it on my. I'm gonna just hit finish. Close. Uh, let's minimize this for now. Open the dart bundle. So because it's a zip file, I'm gonna unzip it. Stretch. All right. So you will see something like this. Locate the Cisco Connect Secure Mobility Client folder. It's here. Open it up. Then locate the any connect file this one open it up next thing I need is a timestamp of the failed connection attempt so that you can find from your any connect Just click on this settings icon here message history the last connection that failed was at 131 p.m. 131 28 connection attempt failed so I'm gonna look for this timestamp here. The times are visible here, you can see. So 131. I'm just gonna scroll down. So first go to the part where it says VPN disconnected or uh, the error message you, that you are seeing. So this was the error message. Any connect was not able to establish a connection to the specified secure gateway. Please try the connection again. If the error message is here, that means anything that stopped this connection must have happened before this point. So we saw the error message at 131.28 seconds, right? So now we need to trace it back. So let's start looking back. I'm gonna scroll up. This was the error message. Let's scroll up. So it says message type information sent to the user connection attempt has failed. So this is again an informational message. This says it's an error which is related to launch cache downloader so it could not launch the cache downloader 
because it terminated abnormally well not really helpful let's scroll up then it says the thread has successfully completed execution and we have some errors but there is not much of description so it says socket transport error bind something in something related to binding something still not sure same error repeats it is still at the same timestamp 13128 so it all happens very fast uh, there looks something so it says an attempt was made to access a socket in a way forbidden by its access permissions unable to bind to 127.0.0.162523 so this is again of type error and it sources AC VPN downloader that's related to initiate listening the file that triggered that has triggered this is common IPC TCP listen transport dot CPP invoked function is bind so it's trying to bind something and it's not able to because you can clearly see an attempt was made to access a socket in a way forbidden by its access permission unable to bind to this uh, look at the uh, next one it again at the same location says common IPC all these errors are related to something related to IPC now you have the error message in front of you or probably this, this can give you an idea what's going on but you of course have no idea what is this IPC what is TCP listen transport does is CPP so let's figure out um, let's first figure out what is IPC I'm just gonna open a browser and search IPC the a socket is an IPC mechanism it is an operating system resource that serves to let two process communicate with each other so it has something related to a process okay uh, so let's get more details then mm. Let's try looking for this error. Unable to bind to 127.0.0. Right. I'm gonna say here. Unable to bind to 127.0.0.1 plus any connect. Look at the very first result. So someone has reported this to Cisco that any connect fails unable to bind to this and look at the port number 62523 so that's the same port number that we were seeing in the dart approximately exact messages so probably has a solution and the author has itself answered his question so it says it has something to do with internet connection sharing enabled on one of your adapter and he disabled the ICS and it started working let's look at the ICS service on our PC so you have to go to services dot MSC look for internet connection sharing so this is it internet connection sharing started this service should be stopped it should not be started that means your internet connection is being shared any connect does not feel safe to connect to such a network so what I recommend is stop the service and probably disable it as well so you go to properties close this let's just minimize the dart for now and hit connect so he's asking for username and password well this time it looks like it's going to connect it's initiating connection activating VPN adapter so this is going to connect now whoa that was simple
I'll try to bring more videos on problems like this, show you what you can do or how you can figure out what's the problem. Stay tuned. Yeah, one more thing. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. That's all for now. I hope this has been informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching it. It is your support, your likes, comments that keep me motivated for bringing up more stuff like this. Please let me know if this has helped you. If you are new to this channel, also hit the subscribe button in right bottom corner.